And Jennifer Williams, Christian Gold, welcome to the Court of Public Opinion. And guess what? You're not in the Court of Public Opinion for a current crime. Instead, you are in the Court of Public Opinion for a previous crime, a previous crime involving a restitution to the tune of what he says, $250,000. Now, in the Court of Public Opinion, we all need some answers here. Attorney, your criminal defense attorney, Brian Ross, help me out here because if you have a $250,000 restitution, what type of crimes are you committing? Let's run through it. If you get caught trafficking cocaine, you don't have a big restitution. You go to jail, but you have to pay back the cops for doing their jobs, the prosecutors, but you didn't steal from anybody. Let's suppose you beat somebody up. Okay, maybe it was physical, right? And they were injured. You could have that amount. But the most likely scenario without having access to the charging document is that he was charged with some sort of theft, some sort of thievery related thing. He unjustly enriched himself in a criminal way, and he has to pay that back. In many of my cases, people are charged with some sort of theft, and the amount could be hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, a million dollars. Well, instead of giving them a lot of jail, what we do is we structure their probation in a way where their probation ends once they pay back all the money. So they do a few days in jail, get out and they have a good job. Like this gentleman seems to have some sort of access to some sort of job. And then what job? He, he says he doesn't time. have a job. He says he's an investor. He says he's got eight figures in net yeah, worth. No, he, that's what he says his company does. He says live on, on, the, on the show the other night that he doesn't have a job. He wants Jen to let him get a job. Attorney Simone Redwine, do you have any insight on this story at all? I sure do. And I can show you better than I can tell you. Bailiff, can you cue that clip we have? And then, of course, you know, the situation we talked about with me and parole and still paying restitution. Yeah. It's an astronomical amount that I have to get to them in order to make sure I'm on. And we're talking, we're talking a little under 250000 Christian is on probation from a case 10 years ago that is still affecting his life. I went to prison behind a toxic relationship. Really? Never put my hands on her, right? I'm blocking the door. So I'm have, trying to have a conversation. It gets heated. And of course, the judge had it out for me. She sent me to prison. I know about the restitution since day one. However, I didn't know the number. We have this extravagant wedding that is going to cost somewhere near that. It's just bad timing. So basically, there's a quarter million dollars left. That's like 50,000 a month. 50K. But this is the reason why I want to be released from their control because there's no hindrance on me traveling outside the country. Okay, and I would hate for that to happen a month before okay, I wedding. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So the gist of it is he's saying that there's 250K left. She breaks it down. Oh, we could take care of it in four months over 50K. He lying. Jennifer, be. he's scamming you. He's lying. Okay. The crime here was false imprisonment. Okay. He was actually charged with two things. He was charged with false imprisonment as well as family violence. He was found not guilty of the family violence, but was found guilty of the false imprisonment. That is a crime that does not, that didn't occur medical bills. It didn't occur any of that. The truth of the matter is uh, Jennifer Williams, uh, we need to use her with, we don't need crime stoppers. When there's a crime, don't use her. Put her in a bikini. She will find the criminal, okay? She's dated them her whole life. This is like the third one in a row prior to him. It was a guy who ran off with her uh, Range Rover, et cetera, et cetera. The truth of the matter is, go ahead, Bayla. Put on the document that I listed as Exhibit A. Go ahead, oh, the restitution document. Go. The truth of the matter is this man only owns, only owes $12,500. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, wow. hold on. This is what? the what document are we looking at here? And you what? said it's twelve thousand five hundred, not close yes. to two hundred and fifty thousand, no. like he's saying. That's correct. It says consent order. There it is. The co consent restitution order. Okay. I, I blocked off the victim's name. So restitution goes to the victims of your crime. Right. So I 
blocked off the victim's name, right? But you see the amount, $12,500, signed by the judge, signed by his lawyer and the state. So he knew good and gosh darn well it wasn't no two fifty. Even if you add probation fees, et cetera, it don't go up to no two hundred. Is, is it possible that it's an outstanding attorney's fees still or something? Maybe like why, why that attorney's was, fees will not prevent you from getting off of parole. I, 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 or I, get, I get that. I get that. But what I can't figure out is how he could expand this, and all she has to do is do what you did, which is for everyone watching. Well, clearly Simone she's not doing Lord, that, like, attorney Ross. She didn't even know the amount. I don't understand how you could be engaged with someone. <laughs> how can you be engaged with someone who's on parole? You know that he owes restitution, but you never said how much restitution do you owe? It well, just also, seems like to me that probably, that would be. A she probably wasn't worried about it because he talks about being worth $10 million or $8 million, having a, I believe it's a $5 million watch. So if you've got a $5 million watch on your head, that's also how we know he's lying. Because if so you walk what? around. <laughs> if you walk watch. around with that, then the first thing, don't you come asking your woman for shit. You better go oh, auction that wash. Auction, auction that, that watch. Listen, that some more red wine. Piece. I go out. I mean, I, I won't have to do it. Meet a woman. She says, I'm a doctor. Really? Within about two weeks, I'm going to say, how much is your student loan debt? <laughs> I'm going to try to get to the See, bottom. You. See, Jennifer just wants to be, Jennifer looks at short, long-term problems with short-term solutions, okay? Oh, she wants to be happy right now. She wants to have a good time right now. She wants to be associated and attached to a cutie pie and, or she wants to be back on TV and all of the shows that she's on, you mm. have to have a love interest. So she'd right. be grasping at straws. He is the present straw. So whether this is a storyline or real life, Jennifer, you look stupid. I don't want you to do this anymore. I do a deep yeah. dive on my channel. Girl is at legal into his entire criminal background, all of the things that are there, his prior debts, etc. Because you take on his debts, you take on his back child support, you marry him without, you know, agreements in place. Jennifer, this is this is your life all over again. You're gonna be just like how you was a few years ago, running around the country, putting up Instagram posts looking for your uh Range Rover. I want better for you, honey. I want better for you. So let's, before we close this out, let me be clear that I understand exactly what both of you are saying. All right. Number one, we can't find any legal documents that support his claim of a quarter of a million dollar restitution. Am I hearing this correctly, Ross? And I don't mean, not at all. I Correct. No, okay. Correct. Correct. Second thing, and more specifically, he specifically says it was for an offense that occurred 10 years ago. This occurred literally 10 years ago. It is the only offense on his record. Yes, sir. Wow. 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 That's my legal beagles, everybody. That's my legal beagles, everybody. You're going to get oh, out of the relationship. Clarification. It, it's the only offense on his record from 10 years ago. It happened in 2014. He was sentenced in 15. He's got other stuff. But I'm saying this is the only one that's defined by those things and that involved the domestic issues that he was referring to. Because as I said, false imprisonment, family violence, this was the resolution. When you say that other offenses were found, what do you mean? Uh, I think one of them was a theft, other things like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, he likes other people's money. And he, he touts himself... <laughs> as teaching people how to do money management. Here's the thing, as a convicted felon, he cannot, and a convicted have felon is in time period, he can't have a license. He can't have a license. Have a license. So if I you give that. this man your money, you are risking the fact of not, he, which means he can't be licensed, he can't be bonded. So that means if he That's makes right. a mistake with your money, you have you no can't reason. Sue him. You can't sue nobody. You are going to have to stand in line like his baby mama and everybody else. Okay, my so let me, let me ask the last boy. question before we move off of this, uh, Attorney Red Wine and Ross. If Jennifer marries him without certain stipulations, doesn't all of his issues become her issues when it comes to finance? Finance? Mm, I don't think so. I, I, I'll um, let Simone weigh in on this more, but I don't think so. The rest, not the restitution, but it right. does impact her in that the two, like they couldn't have a destination wedding. They couldn't do a number of things that are required for travel. And that's because other, other countries won't let him in without having his stuff resolved. In Correct. addition, so um, while child support cannot be set on their joint income, what can happen is if 
he ever has a garnishment and they have a joint bank account, they can take her money and his. They don't say which one is yours, how much is yours, how much is his. And if they have, they file joint taxes, they could take her refund all the time. So yes, commingling with someone who does not have their monetary affairs in order is a huge risk. Wow. I get it. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, Algorithms and everybody, we're teaching you something wow. every day here on the Court of Public Opinion. It's that time of the show where we issue our verdicts as it relates to those who have ended up in the Court of Public Opinion. 